what's up bob here welcome to another on the road episode we are currently in the keys and we will be leaving soon but right now we are making our way around town and uh, looking for some records and trying to find some cool stuff to do so all right here we go
Yo, what's up? Bob here. Welcome back. I have returned to my old Kentucky home. I had a great time. Got some much needed uh, rest and relaxation. I uh, got out there and looked for some records. It was really cool. Um, had a wonderful time. So I did find some uh, LPs, if you will, and we're going to get into them right now. Here we go. Coming in hot. Got some new stuff while I was out there. Bam. Thelonious Monk. Palo Alto. That's right. I'm not going to go too deep into this. Some people have already done videos on it, including Mazzy. He did a great video about this. But uh, I will talk a little bit about the sound quality and what it's like. It's a live show, obviously, at a high school. Uh, legendary story. A high schooler who would be promoter um, wants Monk to come play at his high school and makes it happen. And um, this is it says here on the hype sticker, which I kept and put on my own outer sleeve. Um, unknown, unheard until now. Thelonious Monk, 1968. Has a soft touch sleeve. Very nice presentation. Comes with a poster. Uh, like a program and some other little doodads inside it's really cool nice package on that impulse label that's right folks impulse that classic impulse label um sounds pretty good sounds pretty good pretty spirited little performance there uh they did not let the kids down they played a really good set and um you know the sound quality is pretty good it's um it's not too bad and you know I believe uh, this was the lacquers were cut on this at Sterling Sound and yeah it, it's it's definitely worth the pickup it's it's um it's a good set I, I really enjoyed it I will be listening to that a lot more <laughs> next we're staying in the same vein here also got this bam Herbie Hancock my point of view right yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about Donald Byrd, Tony Williams, Hank Mobley. Oh, it's a heater. That said, there are some tracks that are kind of like, you know, kind of, um, you know, in that vibe, that uh, kind of 60s kind of cheeky vibe, if you will. But it's a pretty good record. If you're a Herbie Hancock fan, you need this. You need to get in on it. Um, it was on pre-order, and um, mine showed up on the classic Blue Note label. Yeah, came home to that. Pretty good. Glad to have that. My Blue Note collection is still chugging along, you know. Now, if you were watching close in the video, you might have seen this part of the video where I, I was in a little thrift shop, uh, kind of an antique store. Um, allow me to digress. Okay, so at that time we were in Key West and there are no records in Key West. There are none. Uh, there are no record shops. If you put in record shops on the map, you get a big fat zero and uh, no, no real bookstores, no nothing. So at some point, uh, you start going to uh, thrift stores, antique shops, whatever. If, if you're looking for records, which I was. And I finally found a place called 90 Miles to Cuba, right? And she had a few records. I think she had about, she had one, two boxes that were pretty full, uh, a dollar box that was really not so full, and some records on the floor there. And of course, I went through the full boxes first, which were all tagged at 20 bucks, right? And I grabbed one record out of, a, out of the $20 bin. And as I was going through the dollar box, the very last record in there was this. Bam. Larry Young of Love and Peace. Blue Note on that New York label. This is a mono first press. Yeah, the micro groove, uh, long playing, 33 and third, that's right. And kind of got this abstract cover. Now this record is a free jazz record. It's really free and probably not most people's 
cup of tea. Uh, it's not as out there as say like Ohm or something like that, but it's um it's definitely an acquired taste, okay? Um so it might not be for everybody, but this is during the period of free jazz, and uh Larry and band were really reaching for something a little bit further. <laughs> um cool looking cover, pretty clean record. Um uh, I didn't know it was a dollar. Uh, I thought all the records were 20 bucks. I saw it and was like, okay, I'll, you know, I'm in. So I grabbed that and my other record. And I went up there and she said, $21. I said, really? And she said, yeah, that's a dollar box. I said, all right, then. Bam. Larry Young of Love and Peace. Blue Note, original, one, mono, first press. Bam. Uh, <clears throat> the $20 record. Yeah, the $20 record. What's this? Boom. Neil Young's Time Fades Away. Now, this is on the Reprise label. Live show. Neil Young live concert, you know. And typical Neil Young kind of a thing. Been looking for this for a little while. Um, I've seen it around a bit, but people usually want like 40 bucks for it around here for some reason. I don't know why. Um, turns out Jeffrey Lee Puckett had four copies of it that um he would have probably sold me one but saw this for 20 bucks and thought ah it's really clean a top copy you know and um it was kind of going back and forth on it but then when i got up there and it, the whole bill was 21 dollars for the blue note and the nil i couldn't i couldn't resist i had to get it and um it's it's a pretty good record you know we all know that records it's nothing new okay last but not least here's the deal i didn't get a lot of records because you know i was flying and i was being fairly selective uh there were some things i could have got the only thing i regret not getting is i did see the dave pike jazz for the jet set i should have grabbed that um but i didn't instead i got this one Bam, this was at a place called Vinyl Destination. This is a 2017 Record Store Day copy of Neil Young's Harvest Moon, uh, named after the title track, Harvest Moon. This is a sealed album, uh, paid 22 bucks for it. Uh, yeah, went in Vinyl Destination, it was a cool store, and I didn't want to leave empty-handed. I saw this, always wanted this record, uh, really pretty cool I always love the cover art and um, I haven't opened it yet but we all know the tune Harvest Moon um, there's a fantastic video I believe it's maybe a story uh, VH1 storytellers where Neil and band play um, uh, this record and I will post that video in the comments below the video so that you guys can see it because you know they got that guy and he's on the broom you know he's got this mic'd up broom and he's playing and it's um it's pretty cool it's pretty cool so yeah um uh, a little handful of records there I had a great time it was fun everything's fine relatively safe you know um we were mostly by ourselves one more thing I want to show before I get out of here. I recently got this. Bam. This is a brush from Sleeve City. Now, um, here's the deal. This is like a static brush. It's like somewhat goat hair and somewhat uh, a synthetic charged um, bristle. And... What they say to do is just hold the record in your hand and then give it a couple of these, flip it, do that, and no more static. I've been using it for a couple days now, and uh, I don't know. It seems to work okay. Uh, it's cool looking. I like it. It's cool to use. <laughs> I don't know if it works or not, but uh, it seems good. I'm going to continue to use it. I'll keep you posted. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I usually use... I usually use this brush. This is just an Audio Quest dry brush. You know, you can put it down on the, hold these little things and put it down like that. It works pretty good. 
Uh, but I got that one from Sleep City, and um, yeah, it's pretty good. But got so much stuff coming up, so much stuff. I've got some more records that I haven't showed you yet because I have videos planned for them. We all know what these records are. Um, I have we have the record store day drop number three coming. There's a record store day. Uh, Black Friday that the list has been released on. There's going to be videos about that coming. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Please stay tuned. Please like, subscribe, tell a friend, leave some comments down below. I'm going to get out of here before this video gets too long. Until we meet again. That's right, folks. Bob out.